Hey everybody, Kevin McKinley here. I'm the PGA Director of Golf and Ski Operations at Treetops Resort in Northern Michigan, also the Michigan Section President. Coming to you here less than one month away from the 101st PGA Annual Meeting out in Indian Wells, California. I know I'm looking forward to getting there. My wife is too. We got a little bit of snow today and it looks like it might stick tomorrow. Uh, but I'm also excited to see Derek Sprague take his rightful seat as a past president amongst all the other esteemed past presidents that we have in our association. Also looking forward to Seth Waugh managing his first annual meeting as the CEO of the PGA of America. And how cool is it going to be to witness history and watch Susie Whaley take that gavel and become the first female president in the history of the PGA of America. And amongst all those other cool things that are going to happen, the special awards and and Paul Levy's farewell, we also have an important election, effectively electing the 43rd president of the PGA of America. And there's four great candidates running, but I want to use this video to let you know why you should join me and the nearly 30 other delegates who have already pledged their support to the PGA Director of Golf and COO at the Country Club of Lansing, Mr. John Linder. When John was elected secretary of the Michigan PGA in 2006, he wasted no time and got right to work. This included the unpopular task of rewriting the Constitution to better align itself with the PGA of America's Constitution. He also revamped the entire Michigan PGA special awards process to better promote those professionals who would be viable candidates for a national honor. The proof is in the pudding here as Michigan had only five national special award winners in the first 80 years of our history. And since John reworked the process in 06, we've added another six, including Monty Elam, who will receive the Deacon Palmer Award this year. This is a shining example of John's member first philosophy in making sure that those who are doing great things are being recognized for it. John didn't stop there, and by the time he was president, he had also created the Michigan PGA Hall of Fame, as he was noticing that our members were not frequently being enshrined in the Michigan Golf Hall of Fame. Since the creation of the Michigan PGA Hall of Fame in 11, we've had a PGA member inducted into the Michigan Golf Hall of Fame every year, which included the induction of Tom Harding this year, just one year after he was inducted into the Michigan PGA Hall of Fame, showing that the voters are now taking notice of our members. There's no doubt that the Michigan PGA has prospered since John Lindert became a leader, and I have no doubt the same will be true at the national level. In fact, he's already made an impact. He gained the confidence of past President Jim Remy as an appointee to the Board of Control serving from 2009 to 2013, and has been a mainstay on the membership committee for the past decade, which includes being the current chair. In both of these seats, he's worked effectively with each of the current slate of PGA officers, showing that there would be an easy transition into the seat that I believe he's destined for. So I'd like to urge you, the delegates of the PGA of America, to join me in voting for John Linder to be your next secretary. We'll see you in Indian Wells.